This is not something you normally see on Chicago's famed Magnificent Mile. Two cars parked on the sidewalk in front of a high-end store in what appears to be a tactic to thwart crime. Jackie Kostek joins us live along the Mag Mile. And Jackie, how often has this been happening? Well, Eric, I spoke to employees of a nearby store today who say that they have seen those vehicles parked outside of Burberry over the last couple of nights. Now, Burberry will not say why those vehicles have been parked out of here, but we do know that they have been burglarized at least three times since late November, including twice just last week. In what appears to be a crime prevention tactic, a picture shows two vehicles parked on Burberry's Michigan Avenue sidewalk, blocking the entrance during off hours. This after the retailer was hit by burglars twice in two days to start the new year. As the rash of retail crime targeting high-end stores on the Mag Mile and in suburban malls continues, including this incident involving several thieves at a Louis Vuitton store. You know, security measures are a bit unique for every location. Nobody Rob Carr is the president and CEO of the Illinois so Retail you know, Merchants sure Association. While he says he's aware of the concerns Burberry has around crime, he hasn't spoken to them about specific tactics. I think it does speak to the fact they feel right or wrong. They feel a bit on their own here um, and uh, they need to take measures, uh, any measures they can to protect themselves. While Burberry has not responded to our request for comment, the Chicago Department of Transportation, which is the agency responsible for managing city sidewalks, said today that they were not aware of vehicles parked outside of Burberry and would be sending an inspector. A spokesperson said there is not a CDOT permit that would allow for parking on the sidewalk in this way. CPD would not confirm or deny whether they were aware, only responding, quote, for safety reasons, we do not discuss patrol or deployment strategies. CBS2 reached out to the mayor and alderman's offices and did not hear back. Carr of the Retail Merchants Association says he will continue to have conversations with city leaders about how to better protect businesses. Because as he says, retail theft is devastating for everyone. So every time you know a piece of merchandise is stolen, there's sales tax that's not collected on that merchandise. And retailers are the largest source of sales tax revenue for local governments and the second largest for the state. Those help fund the services we all rely upon. So we're all victims. Now, a spokesperson from CDOT says if their inspector does come out to Burberry and find parked cars outside on the sidewalk, they will be ticketed. Erica. Jackie, thank you.